Here at JBL, we are excited to launch Performance Manager version 3.0. PM 3.0 was created to align the software workflow and functionality of Performance Manager with the brand new JBL Venue Synthesis 3D Acoustic Prediction software. After opening the software or creating a new file, the first thing to notice is that the Design Mode Tools tab has been modified. Previously called Add Templates view, the simpler Add Groups view contains the three system groups needed to build a new design from scratch. The Array System group should be used for suspended, mix suspended, or ground stacked arrays of speakers. The Distributed Subwoofer System group should be used for ground deployed distributed subwoofer systems. As usual, Set the quantity next to the system group to equal the quantity of arrays within the group and drag the image into the workspace. The new system group options dialog will appear. Here, define whether the system group is to be suspended or ground stacked and whether the system group will have symmetry or not. If enabled, symmetry will link parameters such as preset, gain, delay, EQ, and calibration filters between arrays in an inside out pattern. Hit OK, and the empty arrays populate the workspace. Add Speakers mode can be used as usual to populate the empty arrays in the system group with the correct quantity and type of speaker. The Subwoofer Array group functions in a similar manner. Set the quantity of array locations that make up the ground subwoofer system and drag the image into the workspace. In a similar fashion, a new pop-up dialog will present a set of options for the system group. The orientation control defines whether the subwoofer arrays are organized into columns or into rows. Like the array system group, the symmetry option sets the linked DSP controls to either an inside-out pattern or off altogether. The link hardware configurations checkbox controls whether the array positions in the system group are matching in speaker type and quantity or if they can differ. If link hardware configuration is not checked, subwoofer arrays still need to respect the symmetry setting when creating arrays of mixed system type and quantity. Use the Add Speakers mode and the VTX Subwoofers tab to populate the distributed subwoofer system group with subwoofers. System group settings can be modified later by clicking back into the Add System Groups mode, then selecting a member of the system group and clicking the settings icon above the array. The system group dialog is presented and parameters like linking and quantity can be modified instead of having to delete the group and rebuild it from scratch. New to the design mode ribbon is the import design view. Here, users have a unified location to import Venue Synthesis 3D and Line Array Calculator 2D system designs. Select the import button from the bottom left hand corner of the screen then select a valid design file. The left-hand sidebar will populate with all the system groups that are part of the file. Expand any group to see the arrays that are included and expand any array for additional details. Drag any system group from the left sidebar into the workspace to add it to the design. Array quantity, speaker type, linking parameters, and DSP settings will all be imported. For venue synthesis files consisting of multiple system groups, Continue to drag the remaining groups from the left-hand sidebar into the workspace to import the complete system. With the speakers imported, all band passes can be amplified as usual from the Add Amplifiers view. In the event that a design is refined from Venue Synthesis or Line Array Calculator, the imported files can be updated from the originating design file after being saved. Performance Manager will recognize the change to the file and present an update icon in the import bar at the bottom of the screen. Click this icon to update the loaded file. Now, any updated system group can be dragged back into the workspace. If the old version of the system group is already in the design, Performance Manager will update the group and leave intact things like amplifier association and workspace arrangement, but overwrite parameters such as DSP settings and device quantity. The DSP architecture performance manager has also been overhauled to improve the experience of re-amplifying speakers that already have DSP applied. Previously, deleting an amplifier or re-amplifying any bandpass would reset the DSP that was associated. When using the array or subwoofer array system group, or when importing design from either prediction software, 
All DSP is now preserved at the speaker bandpass level. Speakers can be reamplified, and amplifiers can be removed from the design while preserving the DSP settings that have been applied to the speakers. Associating a different amplifier to a bandpass that has DSP applied will automatically send those settings to the new amplifier once brought online. Performance Manager now has colored bars above and below the arrays and system groups. These colors are meant to help identify which arrays are part of which system control groups. Color bars at the top of an array indicate it is suspended, and bars at the bottom of an array are used to indicate that the array is ground deployed. Conveniently, the grouping toolbox has also been organized with matching color indicators. It is now possible to go online with amplifiers that have not been associated to the bandpass of any speaker in the workspace. This feature allows users to recall custom-made amplifier presets from Performance Manager while also managing and monitoring a traditionally constructed system. Amplifiers that are not associated to any speaker bandpass will now load the matched amplifier's existing preset memory list when the device panel is opened in any online mode. Presets can be recalled, modified, and saved here. As a safety measure, preset recalls restricted on amplifiers that are associated to any speakers in the workspace. As always, we encourage you to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you for watching.